Okay, let's take a look at creating and using functions. We'll just look at the very basics for now. To create a function, we declare a function. So let's go to the project, global functions area, and we're going to go ahead and type our code in here. I'm going to erase that comment, and we'll go ahead and declare a function. Now, the way to declare a function is just to type in function. And also, you must declare the end of the function. So we're going to say function and end. Now, there's a couple more components here that we need to provide. The first thing is a name for our function. Let's call our function hello. And then let's go ahead and put in a set of empty brackets. Now, normally, these brackets would contain any of the values we want to be passed to our function. But for now, we're not going to pass any values to the function. The function is just going to fire a simple action. So that's the declaration of the function. Now we can go ahead and put some code in here. And basically what this is, is it's a shell, if you like, and whenever somebody calls the function hello, it's going to execute any code that we contain in between the declaration of the function and the end portion of the function. So let's go ahead and just put a dialog message box in here for now. And we will put in this dialog message box, hello world. and then for a title we're going to type in greeting okay let's go ahead and press OK now we've declared a function now what we need to do to use this function is call it so the way we do this is we go to some sort of an event within our project in this particular case let's go ahead and insert a button on our stage I'll click on the insert button thing here and I'm going to choose from my gallery blue pill and I'm just going to center it on my stage roughly here by eye. And then I'm going to double click on it. And in the actions area, in the on click event, I'm going to go ahead and type some code. And the code we're going to use to call that hello function is simply hello, empty brackets, because we don't want to pass any values, and a semicolon. Let's go ahead and press OK and then preview our project. I'm going to press F5. and I'm going to minimize my application so we can see this. Okay, here's our project. As you can see, it contains our button, and when we click on that, we get this dialog message saying, Hello World, with greeting in the title. So we called our function. Let's go ahead and press OK, close this down, and go back to our main project. Now let's take a look at what we've done here. We created a function by declaring a function in the project global functions area, and in this case we created a very simple function. We just said function, hello, dialog message is greeting hello world okay and then what we did was we called that function from our buttons on click event by typing hello bracket bracket semicolon alright now this is a very simplistic view of it but the important thing that we want to get across in this chapter is how easy functions are to use so we're starting from the very base element here if anything in this particular tutorial confuses you it's a really good time to now stop and go through it again and get this particular part clear because it's it's a very very um, pivotal uh, point here for using functions okay so let's take a look at the function again so if we go into project global option global functions rather you can take a look at what we've done here again again we just created a function by declaring function and end as you can see that syntax was highlighted the application recognized that and then we named our function hello simply by typing in the word hello and then we just declared a single action inside there. We could have declared as many actions as we wanted inside that function and they would have uh, executed as part of that function. Now basically what we did was we created this function uh, it's a package of actions if you like or an envelope of actions that can be executed anytime we type the word hello with a couple of brackets like that. So basically what we did in essence in a very broad sense is we created our own custom action named hello Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to the next tutorial. This is the very basics of how to create and use a function.